Good evening. Welcome to the June 14th, 2017 Board of Selectmen and Board of Health meeting um, here in the Deerfield Town Hall. We uh, do not have any minutes, so we can go right to Select Board comments. I just want to say we had um, a wonderful ICS 100 and NIMS 700 um, class um, training here on Monday and Tuesday um, evening. We had a great group of mixed uh, volunteers. They were new faces as well as some of our regular volunteers for many, many years, like Barbara um, Wobleski, who has you know, volunteered at every single EDS um, drill. But anyway, um, it was now we have a, a pool of uh, resource, a really good resource of trained volunteers, including Trevor, who took the class. And, and what that means Pat. is we are, and Pat, yep. uh, we are now eligible, uh, should we have an event and need a FEMA reimbursement, we will now be eligible for reimbursement. That's one of the little checkup lists is, is public officials and uh, town hall staff and our responders and our volunteers are uh, ICS 100, NIMS 700 certified. So Pat is maintaining a file and we are getting everybody up to date. Board of Health, oh, did you have any other comments? No, I just, I thought it was a wonderful program. Um, John Taylor from Shelburne, is it? Shelburne yes. Falls Fire, Fire Department did a great job, t you know, teaching the class and uh, I learned a lot. So it was great. I'm really, really excited to keep going with it. Yep, I'm, I, it's, it's very useful. Um, Board of Health comments, uh, again, whoops, be careful of ticks. The ticks are wicked. Um, I got a tick Down bite myself, horse. even with spraying with this. I think it fell off my horse, actually. It fell on me. But um, what, this is 649 at Tractor Supply. It's, it's equine uh, fly spray. You can spray it on dogs. You can spray it on your pant legs and shoes, and, I, and it really works. It keeps the ticks away from you. Um, but it's really important not to use on cats. For some reason, cats aren't tolerant of this. Um, I, I, it, I don't know to the degree that they are not tolerant. Um, it's just that I had had some, seen some um, literature on it, and it's just they're not, it's not for cats. But it's perithium, P-E-R-M-E-T-H-R-I-N. That's what you need. So you can order it online as a straight out thing. You can order cedar side, different things that work, but it's really important um, to do that. And um, you can take toilet paper rolls and waterproof them and then put lint in them, sp uh, spray your... Um, Bronco horse spray or whatever you have for spray on your lint and you can leave it around your yard because it's really your mice are the vectors that carry the ticks and you know little bunnies and stuff and the um, mice will take this uh, lint back to their nest and it will kill the ticks so that's a um, easy cheap thing to do mm. and of course Great the idea. mosquitoes are out we've had so much rain it's a yeah. lovely lovely day today but yeah. Um, the mosquitoes have been out with all this rain, so please police your yard. They really don't fly very far, and so, but they don't need uh, very much water to breed, just the bottle cap amount of water. And it's really going to be the West Nile, from my understanding from the state vet, Katie um, Brown, is that it's going to be West Nile this year that's going to be real bad. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's hope, hopefully there won't be any triple E, but we'll start getting results from our traps pretty soon and we'll keep everybody posted. Yep. Did Sounds you have good. any other comments? No, that was good. Okay. Um, town administrator's report Wendy is uh, deployed to FEMA yep. for this week. We have decisions, um, sewer abatement requests from Daniel. Talega, mm -hmm. um, and you reviewed, did you have a chance to review that? I did. I did review it, and I would recommend to, to rebate because he had a, obviously had a leak and was shown to fix it. Okay, so you, um, it was a legit, legit pool? Legit, yeah. His he had a usage leak in a pool? And in a, in a, um, a toilet line, a line out to the toilet in the garage. So once they noticed that, 
had plumbers come in, fix it. Of course, I think he's a plumber as well, but fixed it. Uh, usage went back um, to right back to normal where it was okay. before. So it was a big spike. Addressed it and um, seems to be in back back in good shape. Okay. Do you want to make a um, motion? Yep. Make a motion to um, approve the sewer abatement for, for Daniel Daniel Tilega for the four hundred. Okay. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, we have to sign a GIS Internet Services Maintenance Agreement. Um, did you have that? I did I see did. it here, but I wanted to just double check that again. That was. This is. Hey, Kip, how are you? Kip, no problem. Oh, no. Welcome back. We could have waited a few minutes. You could have just. You should have texted us. We oh, wait. I'm good. All right. You missed the bug update. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you. As if you hadn't seen it before. <clears throat> um, they were just talking about the cartographic, while well, it used to be called cartographic yep. associate ink mm -hmm. contract that needs to be signed. Did you have any questions copies. on that? Um, Kip? Is this for us assessing this property? Is for the, assessor. the assessors, that right? Is our online mapping system. Okay. That is linked to the assessor's website. So you can go and see on your our town website. I used Unless that before. Yep. Okay. Page, and it went up this year from eighteen hundred dollars to twenty four. Twenty four hundred dollars. Yep. The, uh, I checked they in have with any? Karen today, and she said that they have revised and updated the program. So that's where the expense came from. And she guesses that's why the price has uh, has increased. Offhand, um, did we increase the budget for this? Yes, because last year they gave us notice okay. that it was going to increase, so we did okay. increase that in the budget as far as I know. Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. I mean, it's, we did make a notation that the, it was going to be increased could, this year. Yeah, it was something we could do um, through the finance they committee let otherwise. They always know in advance if there's going to be an increase. Okay. Any, anybody know if these are the only vendors that are out there to choose from, or pretty much? I didn't know pretty if there much. was multiple that they do a bid thing. Um, I think there's a couple of different vendors, but this is all the, pretty much the same. Uh, one that uh, we've been using this one uses. for pretty close to 10 years, if not yeah. longer. Okay. And it's the one that's the most common across yep. the state. So, okay. Um, and it's, you so know. So Karen uh, needs the two the that Kip have signed. Okay. Or we, we do. Karen needs one back. Okay. I, I think that I've, I've looked at a lot of community websites, and yep. I think this is very helpful in our community to have that type of a map on there. Yep. And I don't know if it would, I guess we're leaving it up to the assessors to, to make the judgment that it's one of the best. I do right. know that through looking at it, it's not real accurate, but, you is know, right? it's still, yeah. I think it's a valuable tool to have. Yep, yep. You know, so. Okay. Okay. Do we all say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I make a motion that we approve the contract for CAI Technologies of New Hampshire. A second. Is there any further discussion? No. No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Do Please you want make me to that sign this and pass it down. Yeah. Sure. Um, Kip, we were waiting for the um, the one day license. I had um, told uh, Father Reardon that we normally don't. Um, you know that we were going to waive the fee for his one-day liquor license, but um, it's a new. You know, we're new. This is a new board, so I wanted to wait for you to come. Oh, I have no problem with that. Okay. Um, we just held out on that one because no, I want to just to make sure it was okay with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there two of them or one? Oh, there is two. Oh, okay. That's all right. We'll sign okay. sign two, and we'll. <laughs> Send it back. You did say that. Oh, that's a good one. All done. I'm glad we're consistent with our sound. pen color. <laughs> All three different colors. <laughs> it's original. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, so Thank I would. You. I would make a motion to approve the one-day liquor license for Father Jonathan Reardon for the Holy Parish, uh, Holy Family Parish Church, um, which would be June 25th, 2017. I'll second the motion. 12 to 4. Oh, we're wavering the fee. Uh, and we are waiving the fee. Yep. Yes. 
Um, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Pat, you can use the signature on that. That's it. Yep. Yep. No um, and then the one other piece of business that before we get to appointments is um, this was not anticipated. This came oh. in today. Um, uh, Trevor called. Trevor called um, Wendy, um, and she said for us to. Uh, she recommended us to just to vote and sign it, but Pat not to send it out until she comes back so okay. she can she verify it and, run and speak to Lisa. I scanned and emailed it to all of you, including yes. Wendy, but I wasn't yep. sure yep. Yep. Um, if Wendy wanted you all to sign it tonight or not. Yeah, I checked in and she was wait before she left. She hadn't heard from Lisa back whether and we might the not Senate, even need the it. The Senate Council felt that we needed it or not. Dee Dee so. said that Dee Dee is the lady who dropped this off from New England Natural Bakers. She said that Lisa Mead created this document. Well, I think it, she the, did. yeah, she did. But it's t it references an amendment, and we have we don't have the amendment with it. The mat, the exhibit, the exhibit. So Wendy said to sign it or vote to sign. You know, if we vote to approve it. This is an extension for another three months, but you know she didn't feel that we were. Uh, it was, was necessary because we're supposed to hear from the governor's office, but. Is that we? Oh, well, this is the original. When you said she didn't, I mean, Dee Dee didn't didn't know about anything, and Wendy is not here to see if it came through. I thought it went through the governor's desk, but then they send it over to, to the Senate. Senate. And, and but, that's what, that's but true. we haven't heard anything yet from they, them. They've been waiting to hear, uh, Wendy had been waiting to hear from the Senate Council on everything. And, yep. just, and we haven't still. heard anything. So okay. she said it was okay to sign it, but not to send it out. Okay, Pat? Yep, just hang on to it. So um, you want to make a motion to assign it? Sure, I make a motion to approve the, um, approve the, uh, approve the Ninth Amendment, to the purchase and sale agreement between the town of Deerfield, Massachusetts, and New England Natural Bakers. Matt, I'll second the motion. Um, if there's no further discussion, um, I would like us to sign it and then uh, vote to assign it, and then Pat, you will hold it. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Oh, do you have the original? This is okay. the original. Kip. Okay. I just made copies for you guys to read. Just not really sure. That's why I was a little nervous. But Trevor called Wendy in. Thank you, this Trevor. Was her Welcome. I wouldn't have done anything with it until I heard from her anyway. Yeah. It says it's a three month extension. I didn't see it. it. I didn't, it didn't see it. No, but that's what the exhibit talks about is a three month oh. extension. See? Okay. These are the three months extensions, and it's a referencing this is the, you know, the next extension, but that's why I don't want to send it out because <coughs> there's no other part here. Well, if this one was extended to March 16th, so to yeah, April, May, well, no, June, it would it's almost no, going to expire. Was, we signed it March 16th, and it would be expiring June 16th. It was a, an extension okay. that we signed. All right. That's why. Wendy said to sign it because they signed it, and this will keep. Okay. And then hopefully she's going to ch chase down the exhibit. A. Okay. Yeah, I need send it. Uh, no, you can keep it. Okay. Thank you. Um, so the only thing left, um, well, public comment. Zero public comment. Zero. <laughs> It's wonderful. It's such a beautiful night. It's wonderful to have someone here. To have three thank of you, you is wonderful. And Irini, thank you very much for participating in the ICS class. Yeah. Because you do talk among yourselves, and I'm trying to learn what goes on in this town. You're not coming through on the speakers at all? I'm sorry. Get the microphones closer. Oh, okay. Is that better? Oh, is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You should have, you should have given us. You can hear me? Okay. <laughs> well, we just signed another extension, although we're not sending it out to natural bakers. Hopefully, the paperwork has gone through 
and we will be able to close on that this week or next week. Is that, is that to get them in here, or is that just are we kicking the can down the road? No, 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 no. This, they're ready to go. They want to build the building. And it's, we're trying to sort this out through the governor's office. And it's now sitting in the Senate, I guess. And chatter in town. And me, I can't, I can't get involved with it. A lot of like, what's going on. And I just don't, I don't know. Every, every meeting, every extension that we sign, that we've, we, it is our fault. They were ready to close. And. So this is a bill, actually bill in. Yes. It, we did not advertise when we went to close in October. We, the lawyer was researching the title and there was not properly advertised twice, two weeks in a row. And so we've been waiting to get this fixed. And this was supposed to be fast and we so are. This, this, fixes, this should fix and resolve everything. Yes. Okay. And it won't upset their financing and because otherwise we'd have to go back and do an RFP and start all over again, and it's a huge problem. So, I know. So anyway, and it so it's the town of Deerfield's fault that natural bakers have not <coughs> put a shovel in the ground, and we're hoping to get that done pretty soon because they're anxious to move. We don't want the deal to fall through. Um, so the next item on the agenda then, and thank you again for coming, it's really lovely. It's going to be a short meeting, but we're um, appointing, uh, doing our appointments. Um, I was hoping to skip the Ag Commission because I, I need to call people and to see uh, <laughs> what level of commitment we have because we're going to have issues, I think, um, with the noise cannons this summer. So. Depending or hopefully on not. Depending, I think we're, depending on where they're planting corn, I think that that shifts a bit because I don't see any corn. Oh in no, yet. no no no! They, um, there's you know they rotate the fields. That's right. why we sent the letter out in yep. in March, or if, end of February or something. Yep. So that people were aware that we were going to start permitting permitting them, and you know yep. that there were going to be some restrictions, and hopefully that people would plant away from residences and stuff so um, but I want to make sure that was an issue from last year that we need to address so I have to call the Ag Committee um, uh, Kevin Scarborough um, <coughs> Americans with Disabilities Coordinator I was just gonna read I uh, have you read, yeah maybe you can read them you, you want to read each one read. yeah um, okay so Americans with Disabilities Coordinator would be yeah. Kevin Scarborough uh, Board of Health Agents, Richard uh, J. Kalaszewski, uh, Charles Kanicki is our special health agent, uh, Kevin Scarborough, Zachary Smith, and David Zamoyski. The Building Commissioner is Richard Kalaszewski. Uh, building Inspector is Kyle Scott. Burial Agent is Barbara Hancock. Cable Advisory Committee, uh, Paul Alice, Mark Gilmore, um, Randy Cavallo, uh, Calvo, uh, Raymond Miller. The ones that are highlighted are the ones that are appointed by the Board of Selectmen. Oh, thank you. The other ones are and that are and that are expiring this year. Right. Yes. So some of the other uh, terms. Some are, of them are not expiring. Yeah, so we don't need to worry about those. Okay, so uh, I'll read about it anyway, so, so people know what they're yeah. on. Uh, Capital Improvement Planning Committee will be uh, Wendy Foxman, uh, Carol Shores Ness. Barbara Hancock, John Paretsky, John Davey, Kenneth Cutterback. We have a vacancy uh, appointed by the Finance Committee. Um, Roger Sadowski and Francis Sobieski. Civil Defense. We were just going to hold on that hold one. On I, I got to check, Kay. verify that one. Um, Community Preservation Committee. Rachel Blaine, David Gra uh, Daniel Graves, uh, Kenneth Schoen. Roger Sadowski, Charles Shattuck, Alan Swedland, Stephen Barrett. We have a vacancy appointed by the Conservation Commission. Um, Timothy, help me with that, uh, Hilchi? Timothy Hilchi, maybe. Um, Conservation Commission. Um, Lewis uh, Misson, Jr., uh, Benjamin Breen, 
Brian Danek, Stephen Barrett, uh, Matthew Ainsworth. Um, Steve Barrett and Matthew Ainsworth are the ones we were appointing this year. Okay. Um, Cultural Council will be uh, Jack Cavaco, uh, Julie Cavaco, uh, Candice Bradbury Carlin, uh, Roberta uh, LaBarbera, uh, La 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 um, Olivia Leone, John Altman, Jennifer Maripisi, Piper Pichette, um, Reba Jean Shaw Pichette, and we would be appointing Jack Cavaco, Olivia Leone, and uh, Reba Jean Shah Pachet. Uh, cultural Resource Officer is David Driver. We'd be appointing him. Uh, Deerfield Police Department Crossing Guard, uh, Henrietta Cocott, and Diane Baronis. We'd be appointing both of those. Uh, Dedick, uh, Richard Andrioli, Robert uh, J. Decker III, Ralph Healy, uh, and we'd be appointing uh, Paul Oshesky. John P. Pachurik Sr. and Frank uh, C. Sherburn. Uh, emergency Management Assistant Manager would be John Pachurik Jr. Um, emergency 911 Coordinator uh, Chester Yuswinski, and we'd be appointing uh, William J. Swayze. Energy Resources Committee um, Irene Clancy, William Cummings. David B. Uh, Gilbert Keith, Jennifer Maripisi, Jay Stryker, and Stephen Piper. Piper? Not sure. Uh, we'd be appointing all of those. Um, fence viewers, Albert Olmstead, uh, and then we have a vacant vacancy. Anybody interested? What In do viewing, they do? Viewing fences? I don't sure everybody's fences. It's, it's a, the if right you spot. have a discrepancy in property lines and stuff like that. Oh, I'm a fence viewer. And, <laughs> and if there's anybody out there wants to view a fence. Yep. Yeah, it's right. an old fashioned. It sure it does. does. Yes. Yep. Yep. It's an interesting job. It well, is. And, and if your fence needs to be on your property line, not um, somebody else's. <laughs> yep. so I'll read the uh, Finance Committee so everyone knows who is on it. Uh, but it's appointed by the moderator, uh, <coughs> Bruce Hunter, uh, Albert Olmstead, Jr., uh, John uh, P. Pachurik, Sr., Jeffrey A. Upton, John Paretsky, Bruce St. Peters, and Mary Stokarski. Forest Wardens. Uh, Tom Clark, Kevin Scarborough, uh, William Swayze, and Chester Ubinski, and we'd be appointing Thomas Clark, Kevin Scarborough, and William, uh, William Swayze. Franklin County Transit Authority representative would be uh, Bob Decker III. Franklin Regional Council of Governments would be Carolyn Ness, Shores Ness. Glass, uh, gas and Plumbing Inspector is Stephen Baranowski. Um, Hazardous Waste Coordinator will be Lynn Rose, we'll be appointing her. Um, highway Director will be Kevin Scarpo, appointing him. The Historical Commission, we'd be appointing John Nove, but um, who would be on it would be Mary Andrianopoulos, uh, Bonita uh, Conlon, David Driver, Henrietta Cocott, Kenneth Schoen, and Jane Tregier. Uh, keeper of the Cemetery Maps would be Kevin Scarpo. Keeper of the town clock would be Robert uh, Willett. Local census director is Barbara Hancock. Open space committee is John Knurr, or Knurr, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. We'd be appointing uh, Corinne uh, Dugas and Alan Swedland. Personnel board is Nancy Schwartz, uh, Mary Stokarski, Michelle Camosa, and Karen Morrow. Uh, police Department, we have special officers we'd be appointing every year annually. Uh, Deb Austin, Deborah Austin, Robert uh, Wagner. Wagner, or Wagner? Warger. 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 Is it Warger? Warger. Robert Warger. Uh, Joseph uh, Michkowski. Michkowski. Thank you, Skip. <laughs> Skip. Uh, Gary Sevilla, Christopher uh, Savinsky, 
uh, Jesse Rosnick, Chad Risley, Mark Wilkins, Matthew Sherman, Elizabeth Unitas, Christopher McDougall, Marissa Smith, and David uh, Gendron. Police Department Special Appointees, um, the Kathleen Belanger, Lewis Kelly, Kevin Will, uh, Wamet, James Savine, and Don ba Donald Bates. Public weighers, um, we have Miles Downey, Corey Hamilton, Zach Smith, Kurt Neal, Sid Midden, Am Am Amadon, Amadon, uh, Leo Chicoin, Chicoin, sounds right. Uh, Robert Green, Daniel uh, Pursue, uh, Todd Jarvis, Janine Savoy, and Eric Page. Uh, Recreation Committee would be uh, Robert Eckerman, Beth Brown, Jeff Galley, Charles Knight, Rodney Warnick, um, Rebecca Zoli, Eileen Skrabisky, Banak. Uh, Register of Voters would be uh, Joanne Carney, Barbara Hancock, Patricia Kroll, and William Lino. Representative of the Upper Pioneer Valley uh, Veterans District would be Joanne Carney. Uh, SCEMS Board of Oversight, Carolyn Shores Ness, Henry Camosa, and Trevor McDaniel. Um, you guys are members, and I'm the fiscal agent. Correct. Yep. Uh, we have a full list of South County EMTs. Um, <clears throat> Adam Martin, Aliyah Kazmal, Alicia Zronig, um, Anthony Musinski, April Fernandez, Brian Peralt, Calvin McKemmy, Cameron Dunbar, Carly O. Eaton, uh, Casey Berg Bergeron, David Zamoyski, Eric Fitzgerald, Eric Drumgill, mm -hmm. um, Gary Ponce, and Gary Stone, Hannah Enstein, James Bardis, John Hannum, uh, Jonathan uh, Vantland, jo uh, Joshua Clemens, Lori McComb, Louise Kelly, Louise Kelly, Mark Tremblay, Mason Jenkins, McClellan White, Michael Curry, Nir uh, Ragosa, Philip Snow, Richard Gallo, Robert Grant, Scott Chapman, Suzellen Bellows, and Teresa Emerson. Uh, Timothy uh, Drumgoal. William Kimball, Yvonne Marino, Zachary A. Uh, Bastioni, and Zachary Smith. Surveyor of Lumber and Wood would be Kevin uh, Scarborough. Swim Program Committee, we do have a vacancy. Um, Judith Bardwell and Bethany Foley. Tree Warden and Moss Superintendent would be Kevin Scarborough. Town Clerk, Treasurer, Collector is Barbara Hancock. Town Council is Mead, Tollerman, and Costa, LLC. Um, I'll skip that one. Uh, the Town Memorial Town Forest Memorial Committee. Town Memorial Forest Committee. Yeah, it's... We have uh, nobody we've, listed. We've, we've, the select board has been the committee before, but we were hoping to get someone that was a professional forester mm. to do it because, truthfully, we just don't really do very much. So anybody in the town who would like to... Step up to be the town memorial or, forest or has any interest in Arbor in in being a for you know in our town forest it would be wonderful. Be great I know to have um, Lynn Rose was going to try to get a grant through UMass um, to pay for uh, a forest to do a plan because yeah. that's your first step to get money to do something. Yeah. So, um, but we just haven't been focused on that. So. Yeah. Okay. If anyone is interested, that would be is really something that we've been trying to do off and on the last five or six years. So it would be really nice if we could focus in on that and had somebody that was truly interested. Mm. Otherwise, we'll fill in and try to figure out a forest plan. Yep. There is some money through the conservation district, so okay. maybe I can, you know, sort that out. Could I ask what was exactly would they do? Well, in the past, they've um, 
I mean, they haven't had a true forest management plan, but in the past, um, we've had uh, like Ed Crafts went up and mark trees to be cut and you do on generally town property yeah it's you're trying to do like basic forest health and management there's invasives so you know you took care of invasives and ed did a lot of work um up there on our our town forest um where is that <laughs> I, I knew know. you were going to ask I that. Where's our town forest? Uh, we, I mean, we have a plot plan, but it's, okay. it's up by Eagle Brook. Okay. Um, it's up it, by the trees. <laughs> it's, up, <laughs> it, it's in the woods up there. I got it. Yeah, okay. it's up by Eagle Brook. <laughs> really, the last person <laughs> really that has done anything on it was Ed Crafts, and he was wonderful. He, you know, yep. he tried it's to get rid of... Right. He, he tried to get rid of trees when they got down, you know, instead of just letting them be, um, uh, you know, brush hazard, he would he would clean them up, and he did a lot of work. There's he was a, a wonderful... There's good stories uh, on that recently I've heard on NPR of, of how they're managing the land and, like, cutting trees to make it look like old forest and, you know, leaving some stuff up for habitat and... Yep. Managing. There's real, there's good, real push good. to get the habit. You know, you could to actively manage it. I mean, people think that you're going to have a forest management plan that you're just going to clear cut, cut everything. And, and right. that's not true. Forest management is you you keep control of invasives. You um, have habitat variety of habitat. Low, yeah. You look at the surrounding parcels and say, do you have contiguous whatever? Mm -hmm. and, and then you try to do that on your parcel. And if it's if it's not and there's not good management in the other contiguous parcels, then you try to do something that is worthwhile in your parcel. Yeah. And then you try to encourage other people to do. So you have conti a contiguous corridor of whatever. Right. You know, I mean, there's different wildlife that you're trying to, pr you know, promote. Co we can, if we wanted to promote, like, the eastern cottontail, you can get mm -hmm. habitat money for that kind of thing. Yep. And so you, we have to figure it out. So... If we have no volunteers, then I will pursue something through the conservation district, and maybe we can get a donation towards um, a forest management plan and do something constructive. Moving on. No comment. <laughs> in Town Beach Commission, we do have a vacancy from Deerfield, so if anybody would like to be in the Tritown Beach Commission, that would be wonderful. Um, Judy Bardwell and Bethany Foley. Um, Veterans Graves Officer is uh, John Sizz. Getting, getting there. Um, the Wells, uh, Fred Wells W. Fund trustee will be uh, Margaret Doyle. Wiring inspectors, Wayne Shaw. Uh, workers' compensation agent, unemployment compensation agent is uh, Barbara Hancock and Sarah uh, Misson. Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals, we have uh, three appointments this year. Um, that would be Richard Moody, Frank Morrow, and Bernard Sadowski. And um, Ron Bahanowitz, uh, chair, Robert Decker III, and Ben Wadham. Wadham, Wadham. And I think that's our list. Sure, please. Thank you for sharing. I hope you um, keep it. I like the Deerfield River. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Nice. Still water. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so should I make a motion to approve what we have approved what you, so far? What you read, yes. So I'll make a motion to approve the appointments we've read tonight for the term of 2017. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, yes, sure. Please. Will the uh, paperwork be ready? 
Here's your three that you and every member of your committee has asked about. Right here. Do you want them to oh, sign no, it no, right no, here no, in no. front of you? Yes. <laughs> you know what, Pat? Why don't we do that? And then um, you can take it with you're, you're you. I have printed well, out no, all of got, them, but no, these got three. Business. No, you got business. The reason I say is we, we have an RFP. I know. I'm aware. Utilities and mm -hmm. No, yep. no, yep. no. It's wonderful. We'll, we'll sign it right here. now. We don't have four balls. We're closing out our fiscal year on June 30th. Yep. These aren't valid until July 1, though. Yeah, uh, you're, you're, you are legitimate until. Not valid until July. Um, no, I know, but I okay. just want to be able to continue because yep. okay. the RFPs, if we do this, they're going to be due on June 30th. Gotcha. If we only have three people legally on the board, right. we oh, can't oh, vote them um, yeah. We'll I've make sure. Up, okay, well, I think I'll have people come swear in. You know what? We'll give them to you and. Um, then you'll be all set, okay? I'll come in and help. Did you authorize the use of the Thank yeah, you. you can. You will let you. You're the now on TV as yeah. being responsible for all three of them. You can't trust the bank auditor. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> can you? <laughs> Listen. Thank you very much. It's very sweet of you to come tonight. Yes. Um, I appreciate it. It's a lovely night. So appointments. I don't think you want to sign them all, do you? No. This is important. Thank I only you. brought three with me. Then there's no question. You can, yeah. as oh, you soon as the clerk is open. Or no, that'll just get turned. No, they'll turn them into they'll the town clerk. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Carol, is it all right for Pat to use the stamp on for the yes. all of these? Yes. yes. You can Actually, why don't I scan them? You want to scan them? You can use the stamp on the rest of them. Okay. Okay. So the the you. only ones we didn't you do, Pat? Yeah. We didn't do the Ag Commission because I, I'm so going to call. we're going to pass on that one? Uh, we'll do them the 28th. I have to um, call and see if they would be willing to do this because um, there will be some controversy. You know, Stephen Taylor doesn't want to be the chair anymore. Uh, uh, that's why we need to have a chair. We need to have someone being willing to be a chair. So I'm, I will sort that out. Um, you, we also are going to do the civil defense thing. Okay. Um, yep. On the 28th too, okay? Good. Okay. Okay. So those. Are, oh no! I think that's it. If, if Kip, did you have anything that you wanted to update? Because the next next select board meeting, um, Wendy will be back. Um, and thank you, Pat, for organizing tonight's yes, meeting. You. That thank was you very, very nice. Did you want to mention the uh, golden cane on the yes. first? Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, um, I thought she didn't want us to announce it. Or does she just not want it in the paper? She didn't? I don't oh, know. I don't know. Okay, so um, why don't you... Um, I have no idea then. Maybe we should I, wait then. I have another... I do have something to bring up. It's not sure. that important. But I've reached out to uh, the Conway Select. I still don't know what time their parade is. I don't know where it's going to start. And uh, But I have asked Sean, if nothing else came together, if we could have a cruiser and a motorcycle to truck us around up there and he said sure okay I, I i don't you need i'm i don't know what time it is to organize so, it you're gonna have to let us know okay. because I, I i wasn't gonna go but um well that's that's all right too because i mean like i i've i had I dinner with john last mm -hmm. week and asked him he didn't know he's supposed to get back to me i called thank him. you thank oh, you john. Thank, thank you paul so you john um john uh o'rourke, o'rourke yeah Okay. So I, I, well, I don't know. Yeah, we can we'll, sort that yeah, out. Sure. We'll organize it. Um, it's not saying, I, I just didn't have it on my calendar because I thought we okay. didn't, well, we, didn't we were going to remember we were going to do a, a float yeah. and that didn't really no. happen. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Yep. Okay. Um, so, Pat, yes, June um, 21st is the Golden Cane. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. I heard. Okay. Why don't, why don't you just uh, verify that? That's the Senior Center, June 21st at 11 a.m. I think that's what I put down. And the 22nd is your Franklin County Select Board um, Association meeting at the Waitley Inn. You all have that on your calendar? Yes. And, then and, the check. and you mailed the check. And what you date? mailed the check, I right? mailed the check. Okay. That was the, what date was that again? It was the 22nd. 22nd at 6 p.m. is the meal. Okay. I think you can go sooner than that if you want to. Oh, okay. yeah, I think it's like 5.30. Yeah. And um, at 5 o'clock is on the um, Wednesday, the 21st, is the um, annual MAPCO meeting, Mohawk Area Public Health meeting. That's what, at the that Country was, Club. That was what again? The 21st. The 21st. 
Yeah. Yes, got that. Okay. And personnel committee meeting is on the oh. 19th. I, I also did also wanted to mention. SCEMS um, is tomorrow. SCEMS is tomorrow, but also on the 21st at, at 2 o'clock at, at the Deerfield Elementary School, there'll be we will all be dedicating the library to Bette Schmidt. She oh, retired last year. So if anybody I would like to come, um, I believe that's what it's all still set for, 2 o'clock okay. at the DES Can you just library. just make sure if that changes? I'll put I that will. On I'll let you know. So um, that's June 21st. June 21st at 2 o'clock okay. um, to dedicate. Bette Schmidt was such a huge part of that school and all the children for many, many years that went through there. And we'd love to have the town come out and support her and, um, and be there for her special day. So. Okay, so the next Board of Selectmen's meeting is June 28th. So Pat, um, we need to appoint the Agricultural Commission and the Civil Defense, okay. Those are the two things we haven't done. If there's any other appointments or anybody's interested in a position like on the conservation, Commission, um, community president, oh no, that's the conservation one. Conservation Commission and um, what were some of the other? Oh, the I Forest Commission, the, Fence Viewer. I wasn't sure about the Chet Yaswinski appointments because somebody said that. Yes, he's, um, he, yeah, retired. I don't think he didn't get an extent, or the extension hasn't come through or whatever, so. Don't print out the, the those. I ones. didn't yeah. do anything with his name on it. I wasn't yeah. sure how that works with the. Yeah, we don't. We'll have to find out from the fire with district. With the E nine one one over in Old Deerfield and all that. I know um, Darren Melnick is the acting chief at the moment, so it oh, might be really? it might be Darren. Uh, okay, because I wasn't we'll sort sure that how out. that was going to work. I didn't know. We'll that. We'll, we'll sort the, the, that out for the twenty eighth. Okay. That's why I put question marks next yeah. to his name. Yeah. Um, Put that down on the agenda for the 28th. We'll have to verify that, as well as the um, anybody that wants to fill one of the vacancies. Otherwise, it will be there'll be ongoing vacancies. We can do them anytime. Um, so if people want to wait till the fall, that's fine too. But please volunteer. Mm. <laughs> and we'll appoint you whenever. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that's it. Do you that's have it. any? Oh, I'm good. Okay. All right. Thank you both for coming. Thank you all. I, I really, this is really nice. It's, it is great to have you coming. <laughs> well, Rini, thank you very much uh, for coming to the ICS training. So helpful. When well, um, yes, it is really important. We we actually do do a lot of things, and we have a lot of projects that. One of the things um, between now and the 28th, we we should make a list of projects that we need to focus in. Obviously, we have when the church title passes, we're going to. Um, oh, and that's the 22nd is up in Berniston for lunch. Yes. At noon, uh, oh, or eleven thirty, I think. Yeah. Yep. Oh no! You, oh no! Eleven o'clock. We're gonna go up and visit. Eleven o'clock, uh, not noon. Eleven. Yeah. They eat, they eat early. Okay. No, no, no. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna have to. No, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call you. I think it's. I think it's ten. Because my because my dad wanted to so, walk. We're we're gonna so walk we're around gonna the senior at, center in Berniston. Check out this with my dad. Want to come have some um, lunch? Because it was the old high school. And what day was this going to be? It was going to be the twenty second. Thursday. We, we've moved it like yeah. a few times. My dad okay. was sick. All right, so it's going to be the Berniston Senior Center. Yep, June twenty second at um, ten o'clock. I'm pretty sure I'll. I'll, I'll Write it in your calendars at 10, and I'll go back and look. I'm pretty sure he said at 10 because he wanted to have time to go through the whole building. Okay. There's three stories plus the basement. Nice. They spent about 500000 um, They got money through the state, but they leveraged all their volunteers. And so that was mainly I wanted you to see what they did and then um, because it was really a wreck of a building. And... Um, but then what they did with volunteers, because I, I think 
obviously the first thing we have to do with the church is um, you know put a handicap bathroom in and access ramp sure. and then it makes sense I mean this is just for me but it makes sense then to do something towards insulation to lower the heating bill and you okay. know but we should have a committee and that was one of the things I wanted to follow up with you on was um, you know how uh, obviously we need people for com that committee but your idea of having a school building committee was excellent so I wanted to make sure that Wendy pursued that with the other towns and we put together this I, I um, committee from you know it has contract it doesn't have to be a contractor from Waitley and a contractor from Sunderland and a contractor from Conway but it would make really nice uh, to have sort of a mix and it's just so my idea, idea was my, my vision was just to have an advisory board mm -hmm. of people who understood I think it makes so much problems. sense and I Huge. and I've spoken with uh, selectmen in all four towns um, and they're all I think it's a wonderful agreeable. idea because nice. it makes Great. a huge I mean that would be a huge resource that um, you know uh, the school can uh, refer to when they have exactly. things going on yep. and then the other thing I wanted to put on the agenda is to have the finance committee um, along these lines appoint um, finance members to um, go to the school committee meetings so they could um, follow the school committee business and what, what issues they have and work with them so when we do the budget it's just not like we don't know where you're coming from what are your issues it's it's there's informed people and I was hoping that um, Skip Olmstead and Jeff Upton and you know maybe Bruce Hunter or somebody would be willing you know a, a two or three and then maybe we could have um, the other towns do the same thing in their towns mm -hmm. and then that way everybody and because we've tried in the past what we've done in the past is had select boards and finance committees of all the towns get together and it's like there's so this is giant people giant committee you can't really get a lot of stuff you need done. people from the yes too. and so and and with the school yeah. yeah but so if you had informed people um, you obviously yeah. you're on the committee uh, but also from the finance committee mm -hmm. and then people are regularly attending the school committee meetings so they knew the business of the school and what their challenges were and and um, they would have a better understanding so when we go into budgeting people you know there's more communication yeah communication is key. and it's based on your idea of the building committee and it's like you know it makes so much more sense to have a specific committee um, and and skip and Jeff are both um, you know school have have school backgrounds mm -hmm. education backgrounds so um, you know they would be under yeah, standing of the it. budget so I'm hoping um, we can get that going as well so but it was those kind of things you know what other we, then of course once we get the church sorted out enough to get people move over then we got to work on the senior center and uh, we need to pursue complete streets um, we have more Business opportunities district. we we receive the municipal we are one of five communities that receive the municipal vulnerability um, preparedness uh, designation it was really incredible. We're the ones out here. It was right. all big. big it thing. was Boston, Somerset, huge communities. And because of our Creating Resilient Communities little group and all the stuff we've been doing um, are along the Deerfield River, we were given that designation. So we need to pursue it and turn yeah. it into money because it gives us extra points in, like, culvert replacement, you know, um, list. Mm -hmm. where we are on the list it bumps us up a little bit and gives us extra points so we need to take advantage of that before all these other communities um, get the designation that it sort of like eat up all the money yeah <laughs> then it just neutralizes the effect right now the next couple years because all these communities that were awarded money to start the process well we got the designation we need to get the money and get in line mm -hmm. and yeah. we did receive funding um it was it ten or fifteen thousand dollars i don't know which so when the climate change numbers come out we can update our mitigation plan which is you have to have that checked out your hazardous mitigation plan that's how you get fema money every time 
there is a loss, uh, like in 2011 is a good year, Massachusetts received a whole bunch of money because we had blizzard in January, we had tornadoes in June, we had Irene, and then we had Snowtober. It was yeah. a very active, Tough terrible year. year. There, was, there was something else too. Anyway, there was five um, disasters declared by work. FEMA in Massachusetts. So you take the you add up all the dollars that were paid out to FEMA, and you take 10 percent. I think is the percentage, and you get 10 percent, and then they give that 10 percent um, additional money to the state for mitigation money. That's how we get money to do riverbank restoration and stuff like that. So you have to have um, an active, approved. Um, viable hazardous mitigation plan. We had updated, our plan had expired. We had updated it. We had sent it to FEMA, I mean to MEMA. It was approved by MEMA and it was sitting in the line at FEMA and they took two years to approve it because they had so many hazardous mitigation plans and no staff. And we were awarded $786,000 to do work along Little Meadow Road, which is their, from our sewer treatment plant to mm -hmm. Deerfield Academy that was washing out. And, um, but we couldn't spend the money because our hazardous mitigation plan had in the meantime expired, but it hadn't, even though we had updated it, MEMA had stamped their approval, FEMA hadn't signed off on it. And then what happened is when they finally signed off on it last July, um, our money, it was too late. We, they give you a three-year window to spend your money, and you can't go out to bid. Um, you can't write the specs, go out to bid, and get the work done, and have it audited in a year. Mm -hmm. And we had just a little over a year, so we had to give the money back, which was gross. I don't which ever want to be like, in that position again. Almost sounds like a plan on their part. <laughs> well, Dragging part of it. Long enough. Yeah. But anyway, um, so... We need, that's one of the things that's on a priority list. And um, I don't know. A lot of other stuff. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff that we were talking about. So think about it, and then we'll get sort out with Wendy. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.